What is going on, my friends? Welcome back to MLV Comics. Today is a special day. I am very excited to make this show today. And that is why? Because it's going to be the unboxing of my man, Discovery Bay Comics. I've been holding on to these books for quite some time right now. I think it's been over a week. I have not opened them. I know, I know. I say the same thing. When I usually get books, I'm tearing the boxes open. But I've been waiting very patiently because I want it to be this. I wanted this to be the best video that I've made so far. And I owe a huge thank you to JB for everything that he's done for my channel. Not only from posting my wife's cups that she made when I never told him to. That was never the intention of anything. Um, yes, I was planning on selling those cups, but I didn't send him one for that. I sent him one, sent him one because I love his channel. I love what he's about. Sharing everyone in the community's channels, what they do, when they're going live, what are they talking about. I'm sure he spends hours researching everything that they're doing. And to find someone like that on YouTube that does everything for the community and not himself, deserves a huge, huge shout out. So shout out to my boy, Discovery Bay Comics, for the amazing content that he puts out, the amazing channel. And brother, if you're watching this, I do hope you return soon because you deserve more subscribers than you have. So people, please share his videos, let people know about him, keep liking those videos, keep commenting on those videos so that the algorithm continues to bring his show up in the to watch part of YouTube. Because man, like I said, that man deserves the best. He is an amazing person and I'm very happy to not only have his books, but to do this unboxing. So without further ado, guys, let's get into today's show. guys welcome back to the channel glad that you guys can stop by i hope you guys watch this video to its entirety because this is going to be a special video like i mentioned in the intro this is going to be my unboxing from discovery bay comics jb and i'm super excited to do this show um if you guys see this contraption and see my mic here on the side i do apologize the video quality or the audio quality is a little screwed up my blue snowball that i used as a mic actually broke on me yesterday. I don't know why. It's not working. So I will be going to the store sometime next week um, to pick up a new mic. So I'm stuck having to use my gaming uh, headset that I use when I game. And But we're not here for that. We're not here for that. We are here for our boy JB. So, um, you know, I want to be personally the first one to tell you, JB, at Discovery Bay Comics, Thank you for everything you have done, from the shout outs to my wife's cups, to my channel, making me the hashtag comic pop family of the day. You do not know how much I appreciate it. And honestly, brother, you know, you are a brother in Christ to me, and I love you for that. And just thank you. And I hope to see you back soon on YouTube, making the awesome content that you do. So people, please head over to his channel, like and subscribe, share it, and let's get this man up and, and, subscri and subscribers. Me also, I'm trying to get to 100, and I got a giveaway. Um, but I want to start off with this. This is from his charity that he did. I'm not sure if I showed it off in my last video, um, but I'll bring it up again. This is the one that he did for the charity for kids with cancer. Um, and I went ahead and paid, eh, I guess you could say a pretty penny for it. It's an immaculate condition. I mean, immaculate condition. Um, so I'm very, very excited to have that. I'm not sure what that sound is. One second, guys. All right. So I'm going to leave that sound for one second instead of editing it out of the video because my daughter loves this. And I'm not going to say its name because I don't want YouTube's algorithm to think that this is a channel for kids because it's not. If you're not 18 years or older, get off this channel. But yeah, she loves this show. And I ended up having to buy her almost every single toy that's at Walmart that has to do with this. And she must have had her alarm set for 12, 11 at night because um, the alarm was just going off. And I was like, what the heck is that? So, but net, set your alarm for earlier, not later when daddy's making videos. But to support my daughter, we're going to 
going to put it right there. All right, guys. So I'll start off with this one. This one I opened up because that book came in this, and um, I wanted to make sure that that book wasn't damaged. Uh, when UPS dropped off his package, when I tell you there was holes in the box, so you can see inside the box, like a hole this big in the squared medium-sized boxes that he sent out. <clears throat> Excuse me. There was a hole right through it. And if it, if it wouldn't have been for him using this... And this inside that box, I'm sure all my books would have been ruined. So shame on you, USPS, for doing that. Um, so we're going to start off with this, guys. These are some of the best books that I got from him that night. I haven't checked. I, I forgot what the other ones are, but since I already opened this one, we'll start with this. And that's going to be The Incredible Hulk, She-Hulk, uh, 441 from May 1996. And this is, I'm assuming, Pulp Fiction because it says Hulk Fiction right there. Um so that is a sweet cover about the only cover where you see she hulk looking all sexy beautiful beautiful cover then we have oh, this is nice all right this is really nice number one in the 12 issue limited series dollar 25 cent issue this is the vision and the scarlet witch lovers and zombies check that out tell me that ain't cool jb had some awesome books this night that and the condition is not bad it's it's pretty well conditioned it's got one two three four five six it's got six color breaking ticks you guys can see them right there but i mean the book is in great shape it's got a banged up corner right there but man that's a such a beautiful beautiful cover it is just gorgeous the colors everything about it it's just amazing so very happy with that purchase then we have oh i'm gonna take it out of here just to show you guys so i was at work and my daughter got to it yeah luckily she didn't damage the book my wife caught her before she ended up trashing the book so we got ringo kid number 14 20 cent issue get out of this saloon boys now you're looking at your new sheriff shadow in the silver cartwheel that is sweet no obviously it's banged up but he didn't sell these in mint condition or anything so i have no issue with that at all whatsoever this was one of my favorite buys from that day um this is featuring dead man in strange adventures number 207 this is a 12 cent issue which one of you is my killer which one which one look at that that is sweet man that's awesome now obviously again got its major issues down the spine look at that it's got a huge crease right there um but i'm the type of person that i love old books um this will be staying in the pc it doesn't matter the condition because in 20 years you know they're just going to get worse and worse in condition if people don't take care of them and this one being in my pc it'll stay in this condition uh, until it starts deteriorating so i might send it to my guys to press and clean it just to have it in a little better condition but you know it's not going anywhere it's staying here this one is a really cool one nothing major but it is one of his first major titles um by on him of his own books and this is the clown prince of crime the choker number three 25 cent issue the clown prince of crime versus the creeper look at this old school thing oh my gosh that is just gorgeous look at that again it's got its issues but it's a sweet look look at joker I mean, let's look at joker <laughs> that is so cool from back in the day that is awesome just awesome man that is cool um so yeah guys that's that's going in so far i showed you guys my turtles so that is the first stack guys that is the first stack of books so let's do a recap all right guys just wanted to give you a real quick recap about of the books of the first stack that i just opened you have the joker number three 25 cent issue again that is just a sick cover we got strange adventures number 207 12 cent issue beautiful beautiful cover and book right there we got ringo kid and that is number 14 20 cent issue 
Another very good looking book. The colors on there are just amazing. This is probably my favorite off the uh, lot that I bought that day. I haven't checked to see if there's any importance of it, but I do love the cover, and that is Vision and the Scarlet Witch. That is just gorgeous, gorgeous. All right. And my second favorite, that is going to be the Incredible She-Hulk 441. Pretty cool. Paul, so that is the first package that I opened, guys. Let's get to number two. All right, guys, so we just got done with package number one. Let's get to package number two. I really hope this mic's not that loud. So, candy scissors. I don't get all fans like everybody with those cool knives opening them up. Let's see. All right. We got a pretty nice stack of books in there. Jeez. Like I said, it's been over a week since I got these packages in. So, I don't even know what's in here. All right. Let's get to it. Mr. Leva. Ah. So we got Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man, number 39. This is a 40 cent issue. Look at that. It's getting eaten by those lizard creatures. Scourge of the Shizoid Man. That's cool. We got Web of Spider-Man. This is it. The end of of the red suit this is uh number 17 75 cent issue I'm not sure don't dare to skip to the last page i'm not sure who this guy is i don't think i've ever seen him in any other book so if you guys know who that is go ahead and drop a comment down below and let me know but spider-man looking good as ever the cover is just beautiful i mean i don't know if it's my camera but man that that cover looks great. It's got a little bit of damage right there on the corner. But it looks good. Then we have Iron Man. 65 cent issue. 198. Comic Dungeon. Seattle, Washington. Two something Iron Man in action together for the last time. Featuring the untold origin of o Obadiah Stane. Another cool cover. Got Iron Man there. I do have some Iron Man books. Um, I'm not getting to collect him just yet um don't want to blow hundreds of thousands of dollars on <laughs> every single marvel character but he had it at the auction i think it was like a dollar it wasn't bad so i decided to go ahead and get it um more tape mr discovery bay i'm gonna say one thing painter's tape brother painter's tape not that painter's tape's a lot easier to get off but I won't blame you. I won't blame you. Um, we got Marvel Comics Group number 246, a 40 cent issue. He was just a guy named Joe. Until society stole his son. Now he's fighting back and he may just be Cap's deadliest foe. Do you know who it is? Do you know who it is? Because I don't. Uh, Sins of the Fathers. That's cool, man. That sounds like a good read. This is 1980, and look at that. Kicking him with his whole shield down. Kicking him down, about to stomp Captain America. But this book is pretty neat. Looks good. Looks really, really good. So, we got Marvel Tales Comic Group. Uh, I think this is a reprint. Tales to Astonish, starring the Submariner, and this is July number 8, 40 cent issue, In the Rage of Battle. So that's cool. Look at that. So this is an older copy. It does have its damage. Especially up there by the 40 cent number. Um, all at what cost the top, actually. So, this is cool. Just something to have. Um, maybe trade later on, so we'll see. And then you guys know I love my lady covers. So this is Web of Black Widow, the Amazing Mary Jane variant Mary. edition. It's all right. It's not a bad cover. Looks pretty nice. All white. It does have a scuff right underneath the variant. Um, but not bad. Looks pretty good. I like it. 
and this is Harley Quinn 43. This is the variant cover, and I just liked it. I like anything Harley Quinn. And I thought it was pretty cool. The hyenas wanting some food, and she's just knocked out, not even answering, not caring. She's just sleeping, doing her thing. She's off duty, so they're not going to get to eat until she's on duty. That was pretty cool. Uh, we got Blood Ties Part 1 of 5, The Avengers 368, and this is pretty cool. Oh, that is cool. Reckoning. Look at the colors on that. Man, these books that he had, or it's just his camera. But all these books got some amazing colors. So that is cool. I'm not camera. So, pretty cool. Camera is not working right now. But that is nice. Um, let me lower this, guys. I don't want to get shut off on YouTube for having too loud of music. Um, this is the Uncanny X Men 297 Songs, and it's a beautiful cover. Look at that. They drew her so nice. Looks a little chunky, but <laughs> nothing against chunkiness, but I'm just saying. I'm chunky myself, but that's cool. So Uncanny X Men 297. Uh, ooh, okay, okay. Now we're getting to the good stuff for me because, like I said, I love Black Cat. This one does need a good cleaning, it is a little damaged. Um, Spider Man and the Black Cat, The Evil That Men Do, number two, Kevin Smith, Jerry Dod Dodson with Rachel Dodson. Dodson, yep, look at that. That is cool. Spider Man back there looks like he's checking out her butt, but pretty sick cover. I like that. I really like that. Very nice. Uh, the Child Within Part 5 of 6. The Spectacular Sp Spider-Man. Vermin, the Goblin, Spider, the Middle. Uh, 182. Not sure what's going on here, but... I thought he was green. I don't know why he's that color. I looked at somebody else. Sale Buskman or something. That is cool. Then we have Spectacular Spider-Man 180. Yeah, we never believed the Green Goblin was a good guy either. Call my killer, my friend. That's cool. That is a sweet cover. Again, look at those colors. That is cool. Now this one does have some spine damage. Got ticks. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this is Suicide Squad 47, variant cover, and this is another Harley Quinn, and look at her zombified face. Look at that. That is sick. Man, that is cool. Wow. That is awesome. All right, guys, so look at that one. That one is a cool cover. Oh, mummified or zombified, whatever you want to call it, Harley Quinn, looking dope. That is nice. That is a sweet cover. So I do like that one. Spectacular Spider-Man. Uh, 180. Little recap, little recap real quick. Uh, Spectacular Spider-Man, 182. Probably my favorite one of this lot. Black Cat and Spider-Man. Sick cover. Uh, Uncanny X-Men, 297. Avengers Reckoning, 368. That's a nice cover, too. The color is amazing. We got Harley Quinn 43. Simple cover, but, I mean, I like it. I really do like it. It's just a simple cover, but it's awesome. Um, Web of Black Widow, number two. That one's cool. Mary Jane variant. We got Tales to Astonish, starring Submariner. This is a reprint. Obviously, not the original. Um, Captain America, Sins of the Fathers, number 246. Very nice. Iron Man, uh, 198. That is cool. Then we have Spider-Man, Web of Spider-Man, 17. This is probably my favorite color of, uh, of how it looks. Just those orange and yellows are just popping out. They look amazing. And Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man, 39. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. All right, JB, thank you very much. That's package number two. One more to go. Let's get her done. All right, guys, so we got one more package to go. We have already opened up 
two of them. Uh, well, you saw me open up one. The other one was already open because the biggest book was in there and I had to make sure it wasn't damaged. And you got Supergirl dressed up in the old shorts like that 70s show kind of style. Looking really sexy. Really good. Um, got the hair going from the 70s. The shirt. Man, that is... I like this cover. That is cool. Every book that we were doing in the auction, he had them on his table, so it kind of looked far away. I didn't I didn't see it like this. That is just cool. That is awesome. Very cool, very cool. All right. Ah, this one. Yes, yes, yes. You guys will know this one. I think this is the fourth print. Um, I can't tell unless I open it, but it is. It's like the fourth print. Uh, this is Year of the Villains, Hell Ari Arisen. Um so number three of four obviously you guys know this book obviously it's blowing up it's getting very popular um the red one with the red on here is the the main one this is a reprint uh like the fourth print i believe but still very glad to have it really very happy that he had it um for auction that's spider-man booth.com oh i lied there's three books three books like i said i haven't gotten this in so long i haven't seen it now this book i saw online and i told you guys i'm a huge black fan uh black cat fan sorry about that um and this one as soon as i saw it on the patreon so if you guys don't know let's take a break if you guys don't know if you guys follow discovery bay comics on patreon and support his patreon he when he does auctions depending on what kind of auction it is he will give you guys an actual pre look at the books that he's putting up for the higher end books and you can claim it right then and there before it even goes on auction so by the time it goes on auction if you guys chose that book on his patreon it's yours they can't bid on it they can't take it it is your book and this is the one that i got as soon as i saw it i jumped on it immediately because i am a huge black hat fan and this is just an awesome cover look at that Look at that. Tell me that is not just gorgeous. Gorgeous cover. Looking sexy as ever. Man. Oh, I found the book. I found the book. This is the main one that I got. And I found it. And I can't show it to you guys right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that oh that was my favorite book. Um, so we'll go back to that one. So we got Marvel Comics Presents Colossus number thirteen plus two other exciting features. And this is a Gene Colan cover. Starring this issue, it's Black Panther. Sweet, sweet, sweet cover. Man. Another 25 issues, so it's still old. And it is in great shape. That. Condition. And that's a good book. Good job, JB. That is awesome. We have a Spectacular Spider-Man 159. But will all that power make a difference against the magical might of the Brothers Grimm? It's a sweet cover, too. It's pretty nice. Very, very nice. And then we have... Look at all this, guy. It's just a sticky note. Uh, the official handbook of the Marvel Universe. Uh, it's got one tick, but it can get pressed out. It's not bad. It's not color-breaking. Right there right there but look at the cover that is so cool look at that that is awesome i like collecting like these like the index i have a bunch of the teen titan index i'm in my box we got x-force guest starting spider-man uh sabotage x over part two and this is number four dollar issue look at that that's cool colors again are just amazing and a lot of these books are in very good condition for the year and then obviously this one scotty young i could just tell just by looking at it this is mark miller matto scalera space bandits um this is 2019 issue number two that's a cool cover look at that so this one will definitely be a giveaway or a um just to throw in for some of the mystery boxes um that i saw on ebay or something i know a lot of people like scotty young I'm not a huge fan. I mean, it's cool. Like, it looks cool. Um, I'm just not that big of a fan. I'm All right, guys. So, quick little recap of the final, yep, third and final box. You got Space Bandits, number two, Scotty Young cover. We got X-Force, number four. 
Very cool cover. We got Marvel Universe, the official handbook. And like I said, I love collecting like these and the index ones. That's a really cool cover. We got the Spectacular Spider-Man 159. Got Marvel Comics Presents Colossus 13, starring Black Panther. We got a board. <laughs> My favorite so far of the third one, obviously. Black Cat, number one variant. And I have, I literally have like every single variant of number one. Um, I even got one that's signed by J. Scott Campbell. Two of the villain, Hell Arise, Arisen. Or Arise, I'm sorry. No, it's Arisen. It's got the N right there. So, Hell Arisen. Fourth print, I believe. And this has to be my second favorite. I mean, I love this. Like I said, I love watching movies and shows from the 60s and the 70s. And this is just so cool. Look at that. I mean, beautiful artwork. True the legs and debot hogs beautifully. Um, but her face is just, look at that, right there with the light. Just looks like it's from the 60s. That's so cool. So cool. So, all right, guys, that's it. I got two more special books that I'm going to show to end this night. And that's it. Excited to be able to present and take it out of this heart, uh, top loader. The Amazing Spider-Man 646, signed by Stan Lee. And there's a certificate, still sealed. So, JB, thank you very, very much. This is never leaving the collection, never. Until my kids decide to get rid of it. So... Very All cool. right, guys, let me show you the last book of the night. This is going to be Hardly Thin. This is 239 out of 300. Look at that. Just a beautiful, beautiful cover. I was super stoked when he showed this one. I wasn't letting anybody take it. I don't even know what I paid for it. I think it was like 50 bucks. I didn't care. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't letting anybody take it. It was coming home with me. And I'm super happy to have it. So look at that beautiful cover. So recap for the last round, guys. We got my Stanley, second one that I own. And we got Hardly Thin, looking sexy so, as ever. Guys, this is the video that I've been waiting to make for quite some time. Um, it's been over a week. I just, you know, I... I wanted to do it, but I didn't want to do it. Um, I wanted to find the right time of day, um, the right time in my schedule so that I can go. I mean, as you guys saw, it's three boxes. It's a lot of books. I don't even know how long this video is going to be. I'm going to try to edit it and short it down as much as I can. But man, JB, Mr. Discovery Bay, I want to thank you very much, literally, dude, from the bottom of my heart for being one of the first people to help me. Um, start the YouTube channel by just putting my name out there again when my wife gave you the cup it wasn't intended for you to shut us out shut us out um, and you did out of the kindness of your own heart um, you put our link down at the bottom um, then when I started when I said I was gonna start making YouTube content you hurried up and threw me in there surprised me with the hashtag uh, comic pop family and I got to tell you that it there's only certain people that would do that um, so you K Titus um, Lisa Noble, you guys have all, you know, in the community have been great friends to me and I really do appreciate it. Um, and there's, there's a lot more, um, but the three main ones that have, have helped me, um, to do the things that I'm doing right now and are always, you know, every Instagram that I post, you're liking it. Every YouTube uh, video that I do, you know, liking every single video that I've been doing. And I can't thank you enough for that because if it wasn't for you shouting me out, telling people to drop the link, um, showing my page, on your on your morning shows um i don't think i would be at 52 subscribers um you know i, I it's been a week and i've gotten to 52 so i have huge um goals for this channel if we can continue to move at 50 subscribers per week it would make me very happy um i'd be able to do a lot more content um give away a lot more stuff and uh i just want to thank you really want to thank you i do hope to see you again on YouTube making videos again I'm sure there's a couple things that you want to tweak here and there and I hope you do find it um, find what works for you and if not man just remember same thing you always say we had fun you know we had a good time um, 
So with that being said, guys, that is my unboxing from Discovery Bay. And again, I just want to thank you very much for all that you have done. I look forward to more auctions and more books from you. And uh, before I end this video, I do want to give a shout out to my boy Slim Comics and more. In his last video that he had, he went ahead and gave me and my brother Gamers Land Comics a shout out. So I did want to return the favor. So when you guys get a chance, again, please go like, subscribe, and join his channel. Um, and with that being said, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Again, peace and God bless.